Who y'all been texting today? Your man or somebody else's man? Let me know. I'm too sexy for this chain. Too sexy for your game. Too sexy for this fame. Yeah, yeah. I'm too sexy for the trap. Too sexy for that cap. Too sexy for that chap. Yeah. Hey, besties. And before we get started with today's video, I want to thank Blackout Bingo for sponsoring today's video. You guys like playing online games, especially online games that pay you real cash. Well, let me tell you about Blackout Bingo. So Blackout Bingo is a really fun mobile game where you can make money by just playing bingo. So you and your competitor, you'll get the exact same bingo card and then the numbers just start rolling in faster and faster and faster. So this is not like your grandma's bingo. It's not. <laughs> if y'all have it in your mind thinking about an old school bingo card with a marker, somebody's calling out numbers and letters, no, this is not like that. This is all about speed. So winning is based entirely on how fast you act. So when I first started playing, like, um, it's been like a month now, about six weeks, when I tell y'all I was terrible. Cause I didn't realize like how fast it went. It's really easy once you get the hang of it. But like I said, it is about speed. Once those numbers are just rolling in, I mean, they're rolling in like boom, 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 boom. You just have to get your thumb ready and just go, go, go. So it's always fun just to have something to play on the go. Just late night before you go to bed, just play a couple games of it. When you're waiting for your doctor's appointment, if you're waiting to, you know, take your kids to school, wherever. I mean, it's just something fun that you can play while you're just doing your normal day-to-day -day activities and you can win money while you're doing it. Having fun, winning money, who don't wanna do that? So Blackout Bingo is owned by Skills, who hosts casual tournaments for millions of players worldwide, and they also distribute millions of dollars of prize money every single month. So Skills does pride themselves on matching you with players at your skill level. So if you are a beginner at this, if you haven't tried Blackout Bingo, you will be with somebody who is on your same level. If you have played the game before and you feel like you're an advanced player, that's who they're gonna match you with. So don't worry about coming in like, oh my God, I'm not gonna win anything because this other player is gonna be better than me. No, don't even think like that. You're gonna be with somebody who's at the same level as you. If you don't wanna gamble, you don't wanna worry about winning any money, then you can also play for free. You can go head to head playing against players for absolutely free just for the fun of it. If you are playing for cash, just know that you can cash out at any time like Baby, give me my money now. Getting started is super easy. Look down below, click that link, use the code GIVE5, and that will give you an extra free $5 in cash to play on the app once you make your very first deposit. So it's super fun. If you guys get good at the game, you can win money. You're gonna have fun playing the game. So click the link, use the code, and you never know, you might get linked up against me. Who knows? I'm a win now. I'm just telling you, I'm gonna win. Good morning, y'all. Please tell me why I'm in my bathroom. I go to use the bathroom. I see a big ass fucking spider on the ground. I spray that motherfucker. Y'all, please, please tell me why all of these little babies, I guess, start running off of its back. There's like six little babies next to it dead. Y'all, I ain't never seen nothing like this in my life. Hold on, I'm trying. I'm gonna try to show y'all. If y'all don't like dead uh bugs, turn your camera away now. Do y'all see that? That's the spider. That's the babies. What the fuck? Oh Lord, I just said I was about to stop stop cussing so much and here I am waking up first thing in the morning cussing. I didn't said about four cuss words already. Anyway, good morning, y'all. It is Wednesday. No, it's Tuesday. I'm lying. Happy Tuesday or whatever day you're watching this video. No gym this morning because I gotta take the kids to the doctor and then I have a doctor's appointment this afternoon. So so right now it's just about uh that. <laughs> so I'm about to get dressed. Ooh, the hairs on the back of my neck are standing up. Y'all ever see something and it just make you itch and then you feel like something touching you? <sighs> okay, y'all, this is what I'm wearing. Just a jumpsuit. I have not worn this jumpsuit since I had surgery. This was like my go-to surgery outfit. I would wear my faja underneath here and then a crop denim jacket. <laughs> just because it's just stretchy, it's long and... 
yeah anyway and i'm wearing my saint laurent bag i have on some sunglasses child i could have at least at least flat on my hair oh this might be need to be Ooh. anyway so this is the look i'm getting my memo today so i can just poop pop a titty out pop a titty out and keep it pushing so let's go y'all i'm back ashton already had her doctor's appointment dropped the kids off at school like over an hour ago um y'all let me do a quick dd's haul i should have brought y'all in i didn't sorry i apologize i did see a subscriber in dds what's up aisha girl if you're watching this hey she said she had just finished watching my last vlog so, and it's a small 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 world one of her family members used to date one of my family members for years like on and off for 20 years like crazy small world and i'm like girl well i remember seeing you when you was like a little 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 girl <laughs> so anyway and i went to and i went to high school with her brother so just a very small world but let me show y'all my haul y'all know something about dds marshall's ross target i always have to go to the seasoning section i'll be buying seasonings like i'm jeff what gordon ramsay or whatever his name is but I got some sweet and salty all-purpose seasoning. It is onion and garlic. I'm quite sure I already have an onion and garlic somewhere in my stash. And then I like wet, like minced garlic also. These are all by Badia. This is minced garlic, lemon, and basil. And this one is garlic and chili. I think it says chili because they have the sticker over top of it. Anyways, they were $1.99 each. You can't beat that. Then I bought these sunglasses. They're not even like sunglasses. They're like, um, do we consider these sunglasses? Oh, that's my alarm going off because my doctor's appointment is in an hour. I thought these would be cute for a picture on vacation. Look, and I could wear them with like any color bathing suit because it's like blue, pink, yellow, green, it's hologram so these were $3.99 I got them literally because I, I thought it would be cute for a picture on vacation then of course I bought a bathing suit I cannot go in DDs and not buy a bathing suit so this is Target brand exhilaration so it's just a mustard yellow bathing suit I love yellow on my skin tone so I got in a size extra large it was $8.99 then I got some swimming shorts not like I needed another pair of cover-up bottoms because I got so many cover-up bottoms, but they're so stretchy. And then they have like this tie at the waist, if you guys can see. So I thought these were cute uh, just to have. $6.99. This top, I thought it was like ugly cute. Now let me explain my vision, y'all. So y'all see it's kind of like that Hawaiian print with neutrals. I thought this would be cute and a short sleeve. So I thought this would be cute with like some brown leggings, um, a nude bag, like my new Dior bag, and maybe some tan slides, maybe even orange. I don't know, I thought this would be cute with this hair color and just have like an all neutral look. It was $9.99, just a cropped uh, satin top. It almost gives you like the vibe of like a pajama top. So it's like a wide cropped short sleeve. I was picturing to wear this with those wide leg cream pants that I had just popped. Well, they're more like a champagne color. Cream, champagne, nude, whatever you want to call them. But um, to wear this with those as just like a nice like maybe brunch look with my Louis Vuitton bag. Like one of my little small Louis Vuitton bags with like my Louis Vuitton slides or something. Anyway we shall see those are my vision for those items I only spent forty dollars for all of this stuff y'all know dds 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 always come through and there's so much stuff that i left in there that um i'm just like i don't need it i don't need this like i don't i don't need this i got something similar to this i don't need it so i'm trying to be more selective on clothing items that i purchase so, my appointment's in an hour. I might say, maybe I can head that one. Let me turn this down. Ooh. What y'all youngsters know about this? 
Really cut me off. They can cut me off anytime. But anyway, uh, I was saying I might as well just head to my appointment now, get there early. But baby, when I was working in like clinics and stuff, I used to hate when people would come early. I hated that because a lot of them would demand to be seen, like, oh, I'm 45 minutes early. Can you take me? Or they would sign in 45 minutes or an hour early. And then they would be like, what's taking so long? I've been waiting for like 30 minutes. Well, ma'am, your appointment is not for another 20. I can't bump you ahead of these people who actually came on time for their appointment. Like, we ain't doing that. They used to get on my nerves. They used to grind my gears. So I do not want to be that person. So I might just pull up early and just sit in the parking lot and scroll the internet. <sighs> Do y'all remember last week when I found these inside of TJ Maxx for $4.99? They are $13 in CVS. Oh my God. Y'all ain't that crazy? That that coffee was that expensive? I know CVS is usually maybe a dollar or two more expensive than like, let's say Walmart and Target. But still... And it's crazy because I didn't know like that was a good deal. I literally had a chick DM me yesterday. Yesterday, she said, thank you so much for putting me on that Starbucks cold brew coffee. She said, I've already wiped out the shelves in two different TJ Maxx's. I should have known right there that, that, that it was a good deal. And I still haven't even tried mine yet because y'all know I don't drink coffee like every day. I, I make y'all see me like post a lot. And y'all might see me drink a, a cup of coffee maybe once every other vlog. And it might seem like I drink coffee a lot. But y'all have to realize I might drink a cup of iced coffee once, maybe twice a week. Y'all are only seeing an hour, two hours of my life. Anyway, y'all, let me walk inside of here. Go get my titties squished and smashed and twisted and prodded and poked. And so I will be back. The boob smasher. Now we're about to do ultrasound. Yay me. Just kidding. And we're back. Another year in the clear. I just get to breathe a breath, a sigh of relief. Just because it's like I know everything is going to be fine. But, you know, it's just that... What if, what if, what if, just the numbers of breast cancer are just so high in the United States and just so high amongst black women. And, you know, it's just scary. It is scary. So I feel very, very, very blessed, thankful. I'm another year in the clear. And, and they said I can go to just regular mammals now. I don't have to get diagnostic mammals anymore. And I don't have to get ultrasound along with my mammo anymore. So from, for those of you who are new here, or who don't know like my breast journey, um, I have had implants done. My second breast augmentation was done in March of 2019. And I had a, prop, a lot of problems with like healing, scarring, um, slow healing. I had to actually see a wound specialist for two months. It was just a whole horrible, stressful ordeal. So along with that, I developed a blood pocket. And with that blood pocket in my left breast, it was like hard. I can feel it. I would like push on it and I could feel like this mass, this lump. And it felt to be maybe about this big maybe about the size of like a half dollar that's how it felt um so that was the first time that i got a mammo done which was in 2019 around about a month or two after i had my implants um so i had it done that first time i had the mam it was called diagnostic it's not just a regular mammo it was diagnostic because at that point i was freaked out i'm like what is this lump that i hard lump that i'm feeling so I just told you guys, you know, the blood pocket, it's fine, but we are going to watch it just to make sure it doesn't get any bigger, to make sure it doesn't change and this and that and blah, blah, blah. So of course, went back in 2020, had my diagnostic again with the ultrasound. Everything was fine. 2021, fine. 
So now here we are 2022 and they said no more diagnostic. It's, it's calcified. It's gotten significantly smaller. She said it's probably gonna, when this is all said and done the next few years, I'm getting tongue tied. When it's all said and done in the next few years, it's probably gonna be the size of like a tiny little pebble. And she said that she just doesn't feel any need to um, continue with the diagnostic uh, unless I feel that it's changed. Like if I'm, you know, because I do give myself breast exams, I, I probably do a self breast exam probably like twice a week, once or twice a week. Anyway, whenever I think about it, I do it. Uh, whether it's laying in bed, when I'm in the shower, when I'm driving in the car. So y'all give yourself breast exam self breast and you start in your armpit go online and it will teach you how to properly do them for yourself okay anyway um so i'm just excited uh, i'm just excited i'm just kind of rambling on just because I'm, I'm very excited that i won't have to you know because it's, it's just to, this took me two hours two hours and if um you know my demographic of viewers is early 20s to early 40s so a lot of y'all Y'all are not even in the age range to even get mammals yet. A lot of y'all probably don't have never had a mammal, don't even know what to expect. All you know is that it smashes your titty, <laughs> in which it does all that. And they take so many images from different positions. They use different plates. They had to do all of my regular images, 3D images. And then because of it was my left breast that had the calcification in it. Um, they had to get these special plates that were this like small like this where they just focused on that one little area There's a second lady that had to come in and push my help push my implants back It's, it's just very uncomfortable Very very uncomfortable. Um, but bear doable. You only go once a year, you know, so don't be scared of like the pain um, It's it's like I said it ain't that bad um it's 2 15 your girl gotta eat i'm starving i was thinking about just going to starbucks and getting my go-to which is that spinach and egg white with a little bit of avocado spread but i guess that's what i do i kind of want that bunless burger again from in and out burger but i really don't feel like driving over there okay y'all <clears throat> so today's lunch on the go which is a better option than getting like a burger, french fries, chicken strips. I got a salad from Taco Cabana. They, it said brand new salad. So these just came out. So they don't really have salad dressing. So their salad dressing is like, this is jalapeno salsa. They gave me a bunch of these. Then they gave me one, um, jalapeno ranch what I'm, pro I'm probably not gonna use too much of that ranch because y'all know creamy salad dressings are just not what's up so i'm gonna probably use mainly just this jalapeno salsa don't get me wrong it's real spicy but it's good it's like just enough kick let's try it i mean you really can't go wrong with lettuce grilled chicken and black beans I don't know if I would buy it again just because I really am not a big fan of like spicy salads so I'm about to sit here enjoy this and oh I also got a diet dr. pepper they don't never have no parking oh yeah they do right in the front see and I was about to talk some shit um, I'm not gonna bring my camera in because uh, every time I come in this nail salon they be acting like I'm a damn leper, a damn paparazzi. It's like all eyes on me when I pull my camera out. I would just feel like by, in 2022, people film stuff, people take selfies, people vlog. Like, why are people still looking at you crazy when you have a camera out? Like, I'll pull the camera out to just show them the process of doing my eyebrows, and then they'll just stop. Like, ma'am, keep going, keep going. Your face is not in here. And you can look down and see this screen right here that your face is not in here. Now, your fingers are going to be in there, but your face ain't on there. Like, come on. Anyways, yeah, people people say act weird when they see a camera. But anyway, these are the before brows. Y'all know I do have microblading done. But I just need a little quick cleanup. So, be right back. Oh, yeah. 
Thank you. Can we get napkins as well? Here you go. Thanks. All right, you too. Yeah, wipe yours, Ashton. It was like dripping a little bit. Or lick it or well, something. Why you gotta say, yeah, Ashton? Hey, y'all shut up. God, dog. I don't have a problem with wiping. Stop it. Be quiet. Ethan, do you need a napkin? Just picked them up from school and they arguing already. This is crazy. How does that white cream stuff taste on top? Y'all probably would have liked the condensed milk, though. Condensed milk is really good. It tastes like a glaze almost. It's hard to explain it. Uh, I'm just going to open something real quick with y'all that I bought during the Saks Fifth Avenue Friends and Family. Y'all need to get on off Saks Fifth, get on their mailing list because they do a Friends and Family probably like twice a year. Uh, that's where I've also bought my Tom Ford perfumes from. I've only bought them from Off Saks and then the CCS, the cosmetics company store. But anyway, I got some Gucci sunglasses. So I showed y'all the other Gucci sunglasses that I got in my, was it my last vlog or the vlog before that? I don't know. Excuse me. I think it was the vlog before that because the sale was just this past weekend. So these are originally some $400 sunglasses and I got them for $135. They were $180 at Off Saks. With the discount, I got them for $135 plus tax, of course. So that means I got two pair of Gucci sunglasses. The other pair was $600 originally and I got them for $180 on sale. These were $400 and I got them for $135. So two pair of sunglasses, two pair for less than half of what one pair would cost. I needed some like girly black shades. Oh, these are cute. These are cute. I think I don't, do I don't even think I have any sunglasses this shape? Okay, let me show y'all the other ones just in case y'all didn't see it on the other vlog. Let me show y'all. I actually just looked at my sunglass rack. I do have, I have clear sunglasses that are this uh, shape. So I got these. Then these are the ones that I got last time. These, like I said, these were more expensive. These were originally $600. And they're just some cream oversized like square glasses. Okay, um, I just came back on camera to show y'all that. I need to record some sponsorships. So the kids are about to go outside and practice basketball with their dad. So as soon as my house gets quiet, I'm about to work. I'm sorry, I've not picked the camera back up, y'all. I really haven't been doing anything. Just getting some work done. Just sent something to a company, you know. Stuff y'all don't care about. It's work. Um, so I'm just sitting here. I've just been watching a couple of vlogs. I'm watching Willanda right now. And I'm drinking this new Coke. It's called starlight limited edition coca-cola zero sugar it is so good so good i need to go to target and buy more of these yes i'm about to go put a wig on this head on this head so guys this portion of today's video is sponsored by nadula hair thank you so much to them for always working with me so guys y'all know how i do i always do my reviews straight out the box so this is the wig in the package it is a 24 inch curly unit and of course y'all already know you get a couple free goodies within your box I do know that is a frontal unit, so let me get all of my tools out, everything ready, set up. And guys, don't skip the description box down below. The full description of this unit so will be down below along with a coupon code. So save you some coins. And yeah, let's get into this wig install. Love is no one in a Thank you. 
of the hair and I'm so in love. I literally did not bleach the knots. I did not pluck the hairline. I did not add any powder or concealer or anything to the lace. This is literally straight out the box. I didn't even put a part in. I did absolutely nothing. Only thing I did, I made two baby hairs. Do and do. That's it. <laughs> And y'all did see, I did I did lay the wig down with some got to be gel, just so it can stay on my head for about three days. And then I put my normal water, mousse, oil, and leave-in conditioning cream. I put those four in. The hair was soaking wet. And I let those sit in my hair for about an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes. So my hair is about, I would say like 80% dry. Okay, y'all, like I said, full details of this unit will be down below. Coupon code. If y'all don't want to get this unit, definitely check out Nadula Hair for bundles, colored hair, straight hair, bobs, anything your heart desire, they definitely have. Shipping was super fast. And yeah, thank you to them for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Get into this hair, get into this hair. Every time I put black hair back in after wearing my colored hair, I always just feel like, oh, so weird. But it look good though. I did that. Yes, indeed. Okay, y'all, so I've been watching um, Jocelyn's Cabaret, The Reunion, cause y'all know, let me back this out. Oh, not go in. Skin looking good though, yeah, if I do say so myself. But um, I've been watching Jocelyn's Cabaret, Cabaret The Reunion. Y'all a hot mess, a hot, as stanky steamy they all look like they got some stank kitties a stank steamy hot kitty mess like ugh. just the way they be fighting boy they fighting jocelyn jocelyn scary stuff all she do is sitting up there talking shit <sighs> anyway so i did watch bad boys club or bad boys la last night y'all y'all i love me some jonathan i love him when I tell you he slid that nigga, he slid that nigga like three times. He said, I'm from Texas, ho. I'm from Texas. Do not fuck with us. Period. He came in, he wrecked shop, and he left. Crazy. If y'all not watching Bad Boys, y'all need to get Zeus. Like, y'all need to get Zeus. And they're coming out with like a new Bad Girls Club. It's called Bad Girls South. Tell you guys all the time, I love the drama, I love the ratchetness, I love the mess. Now, I do need to watch last week's episode. Well, not last week, this past Sunday's episode. The Housewives of Atlanta, so I am behind. Maybe I'll watch that tomorrow, because I don't think I got nothing to do tomorrow. Probably watch that tomorrow. Then Basketball Wives also came out this past Sunday, or Monday, I think Monday. So my drama shows are back. Like, if you're anything like me, get excited or i know you are excited so anyways i'm about to take me a shower i need to wash my face i need to sweep my floor because i got a little bit of hair on my floor and i might not be picking y'all back up probably pick y'all up tomorrow plus i gotta go to bed early because i gotta go to the gym in the morning good morning it's hump day or whatever day y'all watching this it's hump day for me middle of the week in the weekend she gets to turn into a freak no i'm just playing <laughs> or am i um i just got back from the gym since my face is still kind of red yeah um i have got to edit because i'm trying to put a video out today yeah that's what i'm trying to do so i need to edit real quick uh y'all i'm going through my closet um i'm gonna be selling some stuff that i don't wear these sneakers worn one time those will be listed 
these sneakers worn twice those are gonna be listed um there's a couple more things i need to look in my closet and really like am i actually going to wear this let me show y'all something that's brand new that i've never worn ever 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 it probably might still got the tag and stuff on it but it's like i don't want to give it away because what if this right here uh, this right here is the pouch that comes with your louis vuitton Neverfull. they give you a wristlet so you can either use it like as a little mini clutch makeup bag money holder whatever you want to use it for i never used it and i've had my Neverfull. i want to say i bought myself as a birthday gift 2018 i was still with my ex-fiance so it was either 2018 or 2019 i can't remember but anyway so i'm thinking about selling this i just i don't know it's literally just been collecting dust for all these years so um like i said i need to get some work done and then i will probably go through my closet anyway y'all just be on the lookout everything goes on instagram first so i that's why i tell you guys all the time follow me on instagram follow me on instagram follow me on instagram because that's where all the stuff luxury stuff will be posted on instagram in my dms it will not be on poshmark because poshmark takes like 15 20 percent something retarded stupid like that but uh okay y'all let me get my work done and I'm going to pick y'all back up. I'm, I'm still like out of breath from the gym because I'm like, I don't know why I got so much energy. Why I got so much energy? Lunch is some more of the zucchini noodles with turkey sausage. I did put a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top to kind of razzle dazzle it up. So, mm. And then I'm watching Real Housewives of Atlanta. I've been eating in my bed like more and more recently since my show's been back on it's crazy like i don't watch tv in my living room at all the kids will maybe ashton will watch tv in the living room once a month but for the most part they're they upstairs and on their phones welcome to the next level how old is sheree i did not know sheree got a daughter my age I did not know Sheree's daughter was that old. How is she? Hold on. So Sheree got to be close to 60. What's her name? Sheree Whitfield. This is... Why do these folks be lying about their age? Sheree was not born in 1970. With a daughter who was born in the early 80s. Like, no. No, yeah, no, ma'am. Hold on. This is a lie. Sheree, Sheree, Sheree. How old is Nene? Hold on. Sheree is definitely closer to Nene's age. Nene will be 55 this year. Sheree has a 37 year old daughter. She is not 52. I mean, she can be, but I don't think Sheree ever talked about having a having a daughter as a teenager like sure come on now uh-uh just like i don't believe um rashida's age i think rashida age on here is off too oh no it says rashida's 45 i could have sworn rashida's wikipedia used to say that she was like two years younger than me so it says rashida's 45 she about to be 46 okay that sound right who else do I remember that? I think Lala Anthony. I feel like Lala's was off too. Yes, yeah, says Lala's 39. Bitch, Lala is not 39. I know for a fact Lala isn't 39. I vividly remember when she was on MTV, when she was an MTV VJ, I remember her celebrating her birthday on air one time. And I remember she was like three years older than me. Lala's like between 43 to 45. Like, Baby, you are not 39. Like, come on now. It's so crazy how women are just... Women lie about their age so much. I don't know. I guess just being in Hollywood, being youthful is more desirable. Because Lala, you was a bad bitch. You look great. Body banging, face look good. You still getting all the, all the roles, the TV roles, like... 
Why lie about your age? Like, you should be able to take that as a compliment to say with your chest. Say with your chest, I'm 44. And I'm a badass motherfucker for 44. But when you lie about your age, that's when it makes you look crazy. Like, it makes you look crazy. Just like Cash Doll. Cash Doll says she's never going to tell her age because people always try to guess. But by Cash Doll's prom picture, she graduated around the same time as me because me and her had similar hairstyles for prom. So... Cash Doll got to be between, I would say, 38 to 41. And I believe online, Cash Doll is trying to run with this being, was she like 30 or 31? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Nene's not on here anymore. Cynthia's not on here. Portia's not on here. Wig ain't on here, a.k.a. Kim. All the good shady people are not on here anymore so this it's literally like <sighs> i'm still gonna watch but it is definitely not the same they were talking about on the radio this morning how their ratings for this season are the lowest that they've ever been why they didn't let nini back because i heard that she wanted to come back something happened and now she's suing bravo i need to google that Cause I definitely remember remember Nene like responding to a comment on Instagram saying, "Oh yes, I'll be back," and then now the shit hit the fan. Nene is the show. I don't care if you hate Nene. I don't care if you despise her. If she disgusts you, Nene is the show, and you just have to accept Nene is very entertaining. She is very shady. She nasty. But Nene is Real Housewives of Atlanta, and that's just what it is. She leaves the show, ratings go to shit. <laughs> Y'all, I just ran over a dog. I just ran over a dog. I think it's alive. It's got to be injured, like, badly. I'm in traffic. So I'm driving, and as soon as the traffic starts moving, I hear somebody from outside go, hey, hey, and then I just feel doo doo. And I look out my back window, and I see some roll, and the red car that's on the next lane, but like two cars lengths behind me, doof, over top of the dog, and then the dog gets up and starts running. Oh my god, I wonder if it was in somebody's car and jumped out. Or if somebody was walking it. There was no sidewalk. Like, the section of Highway 6 that I'm on, like, y'all would just have to see it. Like, there's no s sidewalk. So where would you be walking your dog on this highway? It had a leash around its neck. I did see something black dragging behind it. So it had a leash on its neck. So I'm like, either somebody was walking it or it jumped out of somebody's car. I'm gonna think the latter just because why would a leash be on a dog's neck that was in a car? It went over, it went under both of mine and it wasn't even like at a high speed. It was at a maybe 10 miles per hour. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It seems like going under two tires in this big ass SUV going at a slow rate would be, oh, I'm just glad it got up and ran. I hit a dog one other time in my life. I was around, child Byron was like two years old. He may have been like three, cause Byron was crying. But I hit a dog in a neighborhood and I look out my rear view mirror, the motherfucker laying on his back with all four legs up in the air. So I, you turn around and I come back and then the dog is gone. So either his family scooped him up within that little two minutes or he ran off. He may have ran off because literally he was on his back with all four paws like this. He was probably just stunned for a minute. But that too, he went on the both tires. Doop, doop. <laughs> so, but I was in a little small little Honda Civic back then. Hatchback Honda Civic at that. Bet y'all ain't know Honda Civics used to have hatchbacks. Two door hatchbacks. <laughs> Dude, I can't. Mm -mm. When y'all be like, get the kids a dog, Gina, get the kids a dog. I'm not dealing with bullshit like that. I'm not going to, how can I come back home and look my kids in the face and say, I was walking Fido 
I got he ran off. I got let go of the leash. He he tugged and ran in traffic and got hit by two cars and now he's dead. We gotta bury him. No. 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 I ain't doing it. And I be seeing cute little dogs all the time. I'm like, oh, I wish I want a dog. I want a dog. I want a little grand. I want a grand dog. A dog that just you can play with. It'll come to your house for like an hour or two, and then here you go back with your your mom and your daddy. No. Hello. Hello. I guess today's your lucky day, huh? I know, right? It's mm-hmm. And that's at a lot of different locations. Right. Late in the day like this, always gone. <laughs> Uh, straw? No, no. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I'll take one. I'll take a straw. Thank you. Thank you. Day. You too. Bye bye. Thank you. I will give you the world, baby girl. You just gotta be worth it. Uh uh oh. Uh. You ain't gotta be perfect. Let me see how my video is doing. I put a video out at six o'clock today. And I usually don't post this late. Let me see what my video doing. Fingers crossed. Oh, it's not bad. Okay. Not bad at all. Oh, that scared me. Let me get my eyes on the road. That scared me for no reason. All because I wasn't paying attention. I will give you the world, baby girl. You just gotta be worth it. What other songs has y y -K -O? Y -K -O Cyrus? What other songs has he had besides that? I literally... That's it. And that song is years old. I want to say that song at least, what, three years old? Oh, this wrap hot, hot. I can't eat that. I I'll eat that when I get home. We got a new candle for the week. I've never lit this scent before. Focus. Oh, you dirty bitch, you. Ocean Driftwood by Bath and Body Works. Mmm. Mmm. I think my like signature scent for candles is like. Young man, that's what, that's all I can just describe it. Young man. Mm. Oh, it smells so good. It smells, it just smells like a successful dude who got some money, like. Uh. So hopefully it burns good. Well, hopefully, hopefully the scent resonates throughout the room. Let me say that. Cause I've had many a candles. That when you put your nose to them, they smell good. But when you burn them, you can't smell shit. I have an electric lighter here. If you guys are interested in this, it was like $6. I can link it down below. Amazon for the win. For the win-win. Always clip your wicks before you light your candles. Whether it's a brand new candle or it's a candle that you've been using. Always trim your wicks. And I do have a wick trimmer. Amazon as well. I think this is about, probably about the same, about five or six dollars. Okay, so I'm gonna let that burn so I can probably give y'all a, a review, an update, and to let you know how it smells in about, give it about two hours. Okay, y'all, I literally have no work to do. The kids are gone. I have eaten my dinner for the night. I'm about to be lazy. I've actually watched all my, today has been a lazy day. Let me not say a lazy day because I did edit for two hours. I signed contracts. I did, I did work. I got some work done. I went to the gym as well. I killed my class. Like I killed it. I did so good today. Okay. But, um, but anyway, so I am caught up on all my shows. I might watch maybe a vlog or maybe I should start a new show. Everybody's been saying I should watch Our Father on Netflix. Maybe I'll turn that on. I don't know. But it feels good to just be able to just chill and do what the hell you want to do for the rest of the night. Okay, two updates since I've been gone. One, this candle is a go. 
It is Ocean Driftwood. It's amazing. It's one of my faves now. So my three favorite candles are this one, Ocean Driftwood, Lakeside Morning, and Mahogany Teakwood Intense Extreme Intensity, whatever. Any, those are my three. You'll never go wrong with those. If you like those type of scents, they smell like masculine. Okay. Second update. Filters are back on Instagram. Filters are back, bitch. Filters are back. Filters are back. Yes, yes. Your girl's excited. Um, some people were turning off their location, deleting the app and reinstalling the app. That was working for them. And then some people this morning were saying, oh, it's just going to pop up and ask you to opt in to, to filters. And you press allow or don't allow. And I'm like, okay. So Portia texted me that around 6 a.m. this morning. Then around 4 p.m., my sister texted me and said that hers popped up. And I'm still twiddling my thumbs, waiting. I'm like, okay, is it gonna happen for me? Is it gonna happen for me? And then some of my other friends that I follow on Instagram, they're like, filters are back, filters are back, this little pop-up, uh, whatever, whatever. And finally, finally, your girl got hers back. My pop-up popped up. So, I'm excited. Now I'm probably about to go on Instagram Live. What time is it? Mm, it's 10 20 i might go on instagram live because my filters are back why not what's up y'all i really didn't know if i was gonna vlog today that's why i'm just now picking up the camera so late in the day but what's up how y'all doing what y'all up to who y'all been texting today your man or somebody else man let me know I'm just, I'm just joking. We're good girls over here. We don't get down like that. <laughs> so I'm eating my spinach salad. I got a new balsamic vinaigrette. Mm, and it's so good. It's by Newman's Own. Oh, it's so good. And it's just... Is it out? No, it's back in the refrigerator. It, but it says... I believe it just says... Balsamic. I think that's all it says. I don't think it says anything special like raspberry walnut this or that and i think it's light child let me go ahead and get it lord mm. oh and i lied to y'all about what it was called it's by ken's ken's steakhouse light balsamic vinaigrette Mmm, it's very good. I got it at Target. Y'all can get light balsamic vinaigrettes by any, I think even Kraft has a light balsamic vinaigrette. But I usually don't buy, I don't like buying cheap um, salad dressing, so I'll buy the name brand ones. And when I say cheap, like to me, like Kraft, like I'm not gonna buy like Kraft Ranch for the kids or um, Kraft salad dressing for me. I don't even buy like the, um, Target brand or like Walmart brand salad. My salad dressing just have to be name brand. Okay. It's just, it is what it is. Then I have feta, red onion, tomato, onion crisps, two slices of low sodium turkey meat that I just shredded up, put on top. And that's it. This is my lunch. This is my, this is my salad. I had wanted to put some strawberries on here, but I had already cut up the banana peppers. And I really don't like, the banana peppers that I have are real, real vinegary, like real pickled. So I didn't, I don't like them with, when I make my salad at home with strawberries and the banana peppers. I could, if I go to Salada and make it, I can have fruit and their banana peppers cause they're not as, y'all know what I mean by the, so, mm. I should go tackle upstairs. I should go tackle this wig sale, clothing sale on Poshmark, but who, who, I know I'm lying to myself if I say I'm going to do it. Part of me just wants to bag up all them damn clothes and just drop them off. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not looking forward to that, that work. My lease is up next month. I only signed a 10 month lease, so I need to call the management company and see if they'll let me sign 
a seven month lease. Six months would be okay, but that would have me leaving at the end of December. And I don't want, that's like a holiday weekend. I don't want to move out at the end of December. I would rather push it out an extra month and leave at the end of January. But then I don't want to sign another year long lease. I'm not ready to remove right now, but I don't want to stay for a whole of the year. It's kind of like, oh, oh God. But I can't believe it's almost been 10 months. 10 months. I'm done eating. I'm watching Naturally. Oh, Naturally Sunny. She's on her girls trip. Y'all know I have a girls trip coming up. Coming up. I'm excited. But y'all just watching her, um, her, her trip is just like triggering because these niggas be trying to play you. Like they try to play you. Like. Supposed to be going to North Carolina. But these out of town niggas be, oh shoot. These out of town niggas be playing games, y'all. Okay, so let me not say these out of town niggas, like this one in particular. So he was in town like hmm, two, three weeks ago, whatever. About two, three weeks ago. And then he's gonna tell me like, okay, I'm gonna take you to North Carolina with me, you know? So I'm like, okay, cool. He calls me Monday, like, okay, with um, time and, and this and that, how long can you stay? Can you stay till Monday? Can you stay till Sunday? You wanna come third? Like, what, what you wanna do, blah, blah, blah. Why well, I give you all this information, tell you when I want, you know, I even tell you the airport that I wanna leave out of, excuse me. So this nigga hits me back Wednesday and was like, oh, I'm having trouble finding flights at the time that you want that don't have a layover and this and that. I get on Orbitz. I'm like, let me see, because Orbitz is going to have all the airlines, all the, both airports. So let me see all this trouble that you have in Mr. Um, I'm in a new city every fucking day and you get on a million da damn flights. I'm like, oh, well, I see so-and-so has this flight, so-and-so has this flight, da-da-da. Okay, all right, I'm, I'm about to look it up. I'm having my people look it up, da 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 Cool, bet. Don't wait till too long because, bitch, I got to prepare. I got to go, need to get a pedicure, need to get a manicure. Like, I had already got my eyebrows done. You know, but I'm just like, I'm, I'm a chick. I got to, I can, I can pack last minute, but nigga, don't let it be too last minute. This nigga texts me this morning talking about, oh, I'm about to see what's up with, no, it ain't like I'm about to see what's up. Like, either you about to book the fucking flight or you're not. Like, there ain't no I'm about to see what's up. Then he starts sending me all these fucking hotels and shit. I don't give a fuck. I don't care about all that. Nigga, book the flight. Book the hotel. At this point, you're procrastinating. And go, he gonna end it off with a push comes to shove. I'm gonna be back in Houston in a week. And I'm gonna take you to dinner. And then once we at dinner, then we gonna plan. Nigga. I, I, I don't give a fuck about all that. So you basically, you wasted my fucking time having me thinking I'm about to be going somewhere this weekend. I actually had pushed other shit to the side because one of my homegirls wanted to go to dinner this coming weekend. And I told her, I said, oh, I think I'm going to be out of town. Nigga. Anyway, that just annoyed me because... It's like, if, if you... If, 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 if you trying to be with another bitch or if like let me know what's up don't be giving me this run around oh i can't find flights or oh uh i don't know what's going on i'm trying to trying to book the hotel and it's hard to book sorry you're in a different city literally every week every week anyway let me get back to watching her vlog um Oh, I'll be in Houston this weekend, not doing shit. It's fine. Um, it's fine. I've been avoiding trying to go out, out. Just because when I go out, I drink, I eat late. You know, 
and I've been doing so good on my diet. I'm down seven pounds. Today marks exactly three weeks and I'm down seven pounds. I thought it would have been a little bit more just because I've been killing myself in the gym. I've been really trying to stick to my, you know, good eating of baked chicken every single day. Maybe <laughs> I would have been down, you know, nine pounds or something, but it is what it is. I'm still happy. I ain't down about it. I, I did think it was going to be more, but I'm still happy about my seven pound weight loss. And I can't see my face is getting a little bit slimmer. My waist looks a little bit slimmer or whatever. These thighs and these granny arms still, they're still there, but th those are always the last thing to go. Really, my thighs don't get me small. I, I got meaty ham hock thighs. I've, I've been having meaty thighs since I was a kid, like literally. So, you know, when the thighs match the booty, it's all good. Did I ever tell y'all that I had a nigga tell me? He was like, ooh, ooh, I could eat a whole Thanksgiving dinner off of them thighs. And I let him. I'm just playing, but. Which means they wouldn't be going to the gym until around that time. And then they wouldn't be leaving the gym until about 8 o'clock. Which means they'd be getting a smoothie before 9. When I used to, when I worked a regular job and I went to the gym, it was late, remember? Yes, let's go. Me and Ashton are about to get smoothies from the smoothie factory. Ethan is gone at a friend's house. Y'all know he's like a little uh, socialite. He got a bunch of friends he always be with. The phone's in there. Oh, all right, come on. You know, Ashton likes being with her mama 24-7. Why are you looking like that? It's too hot. It is. Today's another 98 degree day. It does. We had to close early due to technical issues with our computer system. It's so smooth. I knew it. The lights, it's, it, the lights are on, but it was kind of dark. It's so smoothie bowl. Can you come back tomorrow? I really want a smoothie bowl. A acai bowl? Man. That's probably what I was going to get. One of their ice. No, I would get this. I would get the coconut one. That's the one I want to get. Uh, you got to get a different one. No, I'm getting that one tomorrow. Aww. Alright, well, I just want to walk around. You just want to walk around? Mm hmm. Like going Dollar Tree? That's the only thing over here. <laughs> Might as well walk in Dollar Tree since. You don't want to go? You ready to just go? Yeah. All right, let go. We just got home. We wound up going to um, Subway, and then I told her tomorrow I'm gonna call in advance to the smoothie place to make sure they're open. <clears throat> but anyway, she wanted cookies and chips from Subway. So I got me a chicken wrap. Y'all, why did I have to go off on the lady who worked in Subway? And it's like, I feel bad, but why, like, why are you being rude to me? Like, from the second we walked in, why are you being rude to us? Why are you slapping the stuff on my wrap? For what, like, what, for what reason? And, and it's so crazy, Ashton peeped everything. Baby, she got that and slopped it on top of my thing. Everything that I asked for, she slopped it on top of there. Then I, then I tell her everything that I want, and she is just looking so irritated for, I don't know what the... It wasn't busy. It wasn't nobody in there. Like, why is you irritated, ma'am? Then when it came to the sauces, I love the Subway sauce. The past few Subways I've been to, it says Subway vinaigrette or Subway sauce. It says something Subway. And so I'm like, do you don't have the Subway sauce? This is all we have. I said, I know, but I've been to a few different Subways and ordered this wrap. And there's a sauce that either says Subway sauce or Subway vinaigrette. This is all we have. Most people will be like, oh, well, you know, different franchises have different things or we don't have it or we ran out or whatever. How, uh, this is what we have. This is what we have. Looking irritated. So I said, okay, well, just give me this and give me that. And after she put the sauce on, I just said, and can you make sure you wrap it tight? And I said, oh, and for my chips, they will be the barbecue chips. So anyway, to make a long story short, she doesn't ring me up for a combo. And she's like... I asked you if you wanted a combo and you said no. I said, no, I, what? No, I didn't. You did not ask me if I wanted a combo. You did not, ma'am. And I said, I, you, I said, you should have asked me if I wanted a combo. I would have said yes. And I said, by me getting chips, 
you should have automatically known that I wanted a combo. Like who goes in Subway orders a sandwich, chips, and no drink? I mean, there might be some people out there, but when I go to Chick-fil-A, they always say, oh, what do you want? Oh, I want the nuggets. Would you like to? Would you like that as a combo? When I go to McDonald's, oh, the kids, uh, they want double cheeseburger and fry. I want double, do you, do you want a combo? So I, I got a nasty attitude with her at the very end when she rung me up for no combo and then tried to say I owed an extra $4 for a drink. I'm like, ain't no way in the world that this drink is $4. I want you to re-ring me up as a combo and I will pay the difference. Child, then when I got to the car, I had to explain to Ashton, like, some people just don't, they don't like that job. But like I said, Ashton had peeped the whole thing <laughs> from the jump, from when the lady got irritated and slapped my meat on my tortilla. Anyway, y'all, um, I think I'm about to go ahead and list these wigs. Once again, y'all need to be following me on Instagram because they will always be announced first on Instagram. These wigs are an as is. They're not styled. They're not washed. Nothing is done to them. Literally, when I do hair reviews, I wear it for a day. Sometimes less than that. Sometimes I do the hair review and then take it off and go to bed. Sometimes I wear it for a couple days like this one. I think I'm on day two with this wig. I'm leaving this one on longer because I really like it. But I'll probably wind up selling this one too because I have so many curly... Like, I don't need this wig. But anyway, I'm saying all that to say my wigs are as is. That's why I always price them so cheap because when you get them, you're going to have to wash them yourself, girl. You're going to have to do everything that needs to be done because I'm not, I'm not doing all that. I'm not going to dedicate that time. I'd rather just make the price cheaper. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do that because y'all, i just been balling out. <laughs> I've been doing too much freaking shopping. I have literally ordered three handbags in the past week. Three. Well, my Dior one that's sitting in that chair, y'all saw when I bought that one. That was about a week, week and a half ago. And I've ordered two more since then that are coming in next week. Or this week. It's Thursday, so next week. Um, and I've ordered like a lot of designer shirts. I've ordered so much shit. that I'm like, uh, can I recoup some of my money? I need to list these wigs. It's not going to put a dent in the amount of money that I've spent in the past week. But at least I can get a little bit something back. You know what I mean? I'm just saying, Lord. But um, would y'all watch a, this is Diet Coke. Would y'all watch a luxury haul? Like me just doing a video of my recent luxury purchases. I need to do that. Cause I didn't pay full price for majority of them. The majority, the majority, like let's say if I have 12 things in the luxury haul. I probably only paid full price for like two or three items. So anyways, y'all let me know down below if y'all would like a luxury haul video or if y'all don't care about stuff like that. Not everybody's even into luxury shit. Like I just be wanting to add more stuff to my videos. I am going to be doing a and a I just posted on Instagram today for people to ask me questions about any and everything about being an influencer, relationships, friendships, dating in Houston, living in Houston, just whatever y'all want to ask me, go ahead and ask. So I will probably film that next week. So yeah, let me, while I got my juices going, while I got energy, let me get up and go upstairs and start listing these wigs or at least taking the pictures because the listing uh, part takes forever. Oh, I'm talking too much. Bye. Okay, y'all. Got the light on. Cue the horror music. Oh my God. If you guys are new here, this is one of my upstairs empty bedroom. It's an empty bedroom that was going to be my filming room. Even though I don't do try on hauls, I don't do beauty content. I don't know why I needed a filming room. But anyway, this is what this was gonna be. Now it's a catch all room. All of this stuff right here Poshmark clothes and shoes. <sighs> but this is what we're gonna tackle right now. This shouldn't hopefully take that long. Everything in boxes is a wig, and then these are just wigs without the box. And then these are empty boxes. So I will put these wigs here in one of those boxes. 
And I have a head that I usually take pictures on that's buried in this mess. Good Lord. Okay, it's been about two. It's been right at two hours, maybe two hours and 15 minutes. I am almost done. I have six more wigs to take pictures of and list. What's taking so long is I'm trying to go back and hold on, let me pause this. I'm watching um uh, watching my girl Lily, Lily yours truly. Um I'm trying to actually find pictures of when I reviewed them and actually had them worn on my head and styled. That is taking so long. I could do it the easy route like this and just take pictures like that, but people aren't gonna get the full effect of how it really looks. So I'm literally scrolling, 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 looking for these pictures. So yeah, and I think I'm probably gonna release release it today, y'all. So like I said, besties, besties, if y'all true besties, y'all follow me on both platforms. So y'all are gonna see the announcement. So if you only follow me on YouTube, you'd have missed it and that's just it is what it is so but uh yeah i want to get these just done <sighs> whenever i tackle that pile i don't think i'm gonna scroll and look for pictures it just takes too long it's, it's gonna be easier for me to just try it on in the mirror take pictures list it put it on take a two three pictures list it that's gonna be the easiest way <sighs> But I did find in this pile a brand new wig that wasn't even worn, reviewed, or nothing brand new. So that's going in my um, giveaway pile. So I'll be having a giveaway soon. That'll be a wig for a specific kind of person because it's like a a bright orange. It's like a it's like an orange wig. If y'all know who Just Britney is, it pretty much looks like those wigs that Just Britney be wearing. She's a Houston rapper, but she was on um, was she on Love and Hip Hop? I don't remember. Which. Anyway. Anyway, so let me finish. I should be done in like the next 45 minutes to an hour. Fingers crossed. And I'm listing every wig. I, I set prices. So every wig is $160. That's it. Every wig is $160. Now, headband wigs, I'm listing those at, I think, I only had like two headband wigs. I think I listed those at like $120. And then I had a bob wig. I listed that at 100. But other than that, everything is 160. I think I have two wigs that are like 26 inches, 250 density, which y'all know that's a lot of hair. So I think I listed those just at 180. So I'm just, everything is listed cheap, ready to go. Like, so this one will probably be in the next go around. I really like this one though. Like I'm liking the thicker, I like these thicker baby hairs. Bronnie, if y'all follow her on, um, on here, she's like really does the really thick baby hairs. And so I liked it, I liked it. Whatever, let me get back to work, y'all. Dinner time, y'all. I have a very, very basic dinner. The kids had fast food, lucky for them. But I'm doing cauliflower rice. This is with the lemon and garlic. And then just some grilled, oh, focus, some grilled. Then I'm gonna use a little bit of this sauce right here. Camera about to die, so.